Hello guys, welcome to the 17th session of Blazor Tutorials for Beginners. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the render fragment to obtain the child content. And in this session, we will see how to use it to obtain different sections from the body. Here is a simple example of drop down using Bootstrap. We are going to create this menu using render fragment in Blazor. We will pass a button text from a parameter of the component and menu items will pass a render fragment. Here we have two different segments for menu items and we will implement something like this. So we require two different rendered fragments for this. First of all, we need to add JavaScript files required by Bootstrap. By default, it will just add a reference to CSS files. But we require JavaScript files for the menu too. Let's create a new component, drop down component. Define parameter for string button text. Create render fragment for menu item 1. Copy paste for menu item 2. And let's copy this snippet. Change button style to secondary and here will display button text. And in the menu displays menu item 1 and check for menu item 2. If it is passed then it will be displayed along with the divider. Here our drop down component is created. And create a new component from which we will use this parent page and set the page directive create drop down component pass button text manage now create menu item 1 within this pass all drop down items that you want to show I am passing two items for add and edit. Now save the file and run the project. And open the page. Here we got button. Now let's click on it. Here we got two menu items that we have added, right? So it does not display divider as we have not passed menu item 2. Now let's pass it and stop the project. Copy paste. Delete all and export all. Now run the project. And refresh the page. Now click on the menu. Here we got four items and separated by divider. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Render fragment is used to create template components in Blazor, just like repeater and grid view in classing ESP.NET. Here we have created two different render fragments for menu item. And those are passed from the parent component. Here menu item 2 is optional so we need to check for null before rendering it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.